What's up, guys? Uh, kind of excited this morning. We're going on a wee hike, which is very cool because we had planned on doing some other things, but uh, we kind of got the inspired idea to go to Temescal. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going now. Okay. Jeep is gone. Uh, we're sad about that. But the Fisker is still here. We still Come on, got let's that. Let's go. But we okay. <laughs> now we're gonna take a new car that just came in. This is the Hyundai Sonata Eco. It's uh, not as exciting as the Jeep, but it's still cool. I mean, it's still cool. You may have seen me throw my bag in the back. And if you have seen me do that in the past, it's usually indicative of a, a, a hike or something like that. Is that what's happening today? Did we already say that? No, we didn't say it. Now's your chance. Oh, I said it on Instagram. I don't know when you said it, but you didn't say it on the blog, which is what these guys are waiting for. Nobody liked it. Nobody likes Gabby's image. It's really good. Okay, Check fine. It out. We're we're going on a hike today, and we're going down to Temescal. Oh, that's not. Oh man, I'm hanging out with a nutcase. <laughs> uh, we're going down to Temescal. We're going on a hike that we haven't been to on before here on the vlog. Uh, you guys have been with us on many hikes in the past. We've gone to the grotto. We've gone to Malibu Creek multiple times. Lots of different places. But we thought, um, and hopefully, uh, Susie Demeter, if you have been on this hike, you'll know it's a good time. Temescal Canyon Trail. Temescal Canyon Trail. That's hard to say. Day for sending out this Sonata Eco. We're gonna rock the Eco for a couple of days uh, and then I'm gonna go up to the Murphy and we're gonna take that Fisker back and get a pink Cadillac. It's actually um, kind of a mauve color. We've had it on the blog before but I just can't go without that car for too long because it's freaking awesome and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I did get likes on Instagram. Oh fine! Cool. Uh, this is a camp store right here. The interesting thing about this place is that we brought Sean up here uh, to do a camp. It was a day camp? Day camp, yeah. YMCA. Day camp up here at YMCA when he was a tot. Mm -hmm. And now he's 30. So uh, there's that. But there's some cool looking things. I think the trailhead is up here, maybe. Probably right where it says trails. Oh. changes pretty fast it's summertime so you have to watch out for these guys right there choice 
to keep on going or to pop a squat in our little condo right here and spend the night. Yeah, you know what? I think I can handle going on. Okay. We've, we've done already an amazing probably half mile. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say 385 miles, but half mile is pretty good. <laughs> it is only a half mile so far, but it's been all uphill. And, uh, and that's really good for the quads and the calves and the proverbial buttocks, which Kathy will attest to. Maybe hope's a burden, maybe not. hit a downhill part which is quite nice I, I don't mind saying it's a bit of a foggy overcast day just a little bit can't see the beach the beach would be right there ocean be right there but instead we got to focus on the trail we're closing in on about a mile right I hope so. uh, we'll see so far still uphill uh, about a mile into it I think we might go for a mile and a half uphill and then I'm just gonna roll down the rest of it. Closing in on a mile and a half now. Kathy's doing pretty good. She had some strawberries. That always helps. We're at the top. Uh, I can't say we're at the peak. I got a little bit more ways to go, but the views up here are quite stunning. Uh, I think we got to stop soon and have some chow. The fork. Oh, we're now at the Temescal Canyon turnoff. There's a waterfall somewhere down there, and that's where we're going to go to next. Looks like Kathy's already going. Change. Fence here. I gave it one time. to be able to eat our lunch kind of uh, below the crowd there's a little bit of a few people here but um, it's really nice the bridge is up over here and we're gonna sit down and chow
great sandwiches. Thank you for making those, Kathy. You're welcome. Uh, we have about a mile and a half to go, all downhill now. Yay. Yeah, let's just like slide on our butts all the way down. done have about maybe a quarter mile left to go oh there's some pretty flowers You know, when you do a vlog like this, you get a lot, a lot of advice. You get a lot of people and a lot of companies and a variety of uh, individuals kind of explaining how best to go about it. And and it's important to focus. It's important to, um, to know exactly what you're giving your audience and things like that. How to monetize. How, you know, there's just a lot of different compartments when you uh, when you attempt to do a vlog like this. And as much uh, advice as you get, as with a lot of things, you have to decide for yourself, your gut instinct. What what do you want to give your audience? Uh, um, the bottom line is, you know, what are you going to give your audience of value that they're going to perceive as valuable? And uh, sure, I can give you guys lots of car stuff, classic cars, uh, concept cars, new cars, different things like that, but everybody's different. So some people that are into classic cars may not be into the Fisker. Some people that love those uh, concept cars and high tech stuff may not be into a Model T or things like that. But my goal here is is not just to, to do fun car stuff, although that's always fun, uh, but you can't hit a, a specific market necessarily. Uh, my goal is to cover car culture, but in that same respect, uh, sometimes I don't cover cars at all. Case in point today, uh, I covered a, a hike. Now, why would I do that? Why would I want to share a hike with you guys as opposed to some really cool cars like in this book I'm about to talk about in a second. In our lives, we're faced with a lot of challenges, a lot of things that, that pull our attention from one place to another when we want to be able to focus our attention. And sometimes you have to recharge. Lots of things recharge people for different reasons. Some people meditate, some people do sports, some people eat, go out and eat a burger, a veggie burger. Some people like to get out in nature and that's kind of what we like. You know, we like getting out into, into nature to be present and to experience the peace and the, the harmony that's out uh, in a hive like this. And I like sharing that with you guys uh, to remind you how important it is to, to let those things go, those things that worry you, to let them go, drop them, and get out into, into something that, that brings you peace, something that, that is beautiful, something that will take you away from all the concerns and anxieties and the worries of the day, put you in a place where God exists. Now, I'm not talking about the God with the, you know, the staff and the throne and the white, you know. The, I'm talking about God as a concept of focused attention. You know, in the East, they call it meditation, but in the West, it's called concentration. It's our ability to be able to focus our attention on one given thing. And when you put your attention on something, that thing expands, that thing grows. You put your attention on anger, anger grows. You put your attention on love, love grows. And when you go outside and you experience peace and nature, and then you come back and have a seriously hot cup of coffee, then you get recharged. You get the ability to put your life back together, get moving forward, and put a lot of goodness into the world. Case in point, I was sent a book recently by a gentleman, a gentleman named Tony Baker, right there. Uh, Tony is a, a writer and he created this book called Central Coast Motorsports. And you guys may have seen these books before. There's a whole series of these. They have these sepia covers and they cover different uh, areas of United States, California, different things like that. And Tony has, has written this thing basically on the, the motorsports culture 
of Central Coast. Now, Tony, forgive me, I haven't read through the whole book because it'll take some time to be able to do that. I want to be able to make these guys aware of this, but it's got some incredible pictures. It covers people like Sam Foos, you know, Chip's dad, Don Edwards, uh, Golden Commotion, the 200 mile per hour club. Lompoc and the and the Model T Club. Lots of different things. So I recommend you guys pick up one of these. Uh, you can get them on Amazon and, and probably in Barnes and Noble, things like that. But if you love car culture, you gotta study these things. You gotta gotta find out you know where we've come from in order to decide which direction that we want to go. But pick up the stuff that you enjoy. Uh, this is something that Tony, you know, uh, really enjoys doing, and he's a, a really great writer. And this is something that I'm I'm gonna enjoy going through, especially when it's got cars like this. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Tony, for sending me this. Uh, looking forward to it. You guys pick it up if it's something that you're into. Very cool. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. We got lots of stuff coming this week. Gonna be cool. We'll see you then.